Ross Bell, Executive Director, New Zealand Drug Foundation. I think the poll was important because it showed that there's a majority of people wanting reform. They're wanting modest reform. Um, and this is the first time we've ever seen a poll tip over. It's either been a minority view or a 50-50 split. But now we've got 64% of people wanting some kind of reform. Uh, and I think it gives politicians kind of a clear roadmap for what that reform could look like. Politicians have always been conservative around drug policy. Um, they've historically seen that when it comes to drugs, politicians should steer clear. It's a poison chalice. I don't think that that's any longer true. Uh, I think that the, what the message is from the public is that they know that the law is out of date, 40 years old, it's not working, it should change. But they're also seeing changes happening around the world and they're not getting scared by those changes. Uh, and so I think it gives politicians a security blanket that it's okay now to talk about sensible, modest reform. Anytime politicians talk about we don't want to change because of all these potential problems, they have to understand that the current problems we have, the high rates of use, young people ignoring any messages that there are around drugs, uh, a whole lot of money going to law enforcement, you know, those things are happening now, they're happening under the current system. Uh, it's right to think carefully about what a new system might look like. And if you are worried about sending a message, well, a new system, you put more resources into prevention and education, then you start to truly send those messages to young people about the harmful effects of cannabis, while at the same time reducing the harmful effects of our drug law. I think what we're seeing is support for modest reform. We're seeing support for things like uh, removing criminal penalties around possession, possibly removing penalties around things like growing it yourself or even social supply, trading amongst friends not for profit. Uh, we're not seeing support for a commercial market. You know, I think what the poll says is people don't want a cannabis store on, on their street corner. And I think politicians are right to look at modest reform, not sort of a commercial free-for-all. A lot of the response we saw from the poll results was around, oh look, police are already turning a blind eye. We're seeing arrest rates, uh, you know, apprehension rates coming down. And that's true, the numbers back that up. But it's not true for, for some people. And it's not true, as we know, for young and Māori people. Um, and those, we know that the criminal convictions that people get impact on someone for their whole life, their job prospects, their education outcomes, all of these things. So I think it gets a bit irresponsible for a politician to say, oh, well, you know, there's nothing to see here. Police aren't even doing, you know, dealing with this. Well, they are dealing they, uh, with this. They are putting the criminal justice approach onto a certain population who are most harmed by the drugs and most harmed by the drug law. So the poll showed good support for, for reform, but people shouldn't then assume that just because the Drug Foundation has published a poll, you know, that the world is gonna become a wonderful place. People now have to engage in this issue. They have, to, uh, they have to get more politically involved and reinforce the levels of support that are out there. And think of the kind of messages that you wanna take politicians. The public don't want a commercial free-for-all. I don't think a commercial free-for-all is in the public health interests anyway. Talk to your politicians about the, the level of reform you think that the public is comfortable with and that you're comfortable with. What we think a public health approach is going to look like is removing criminal penalties and, re, uh, and replacing that criminal structure with a public health structure where you do uh, prevention, education, harm reduction, treatment, that you don't go uh, down a, a profit-driven uh, commercial market, the kind of things we see with alcohol and tobacco. So let's encourage politicians to look at modest reform and there are opportunities to push that forward. Right now the government 
is looking at a few aspects of our Misuse of Drugs Act around the penalty regime for utensils and drug paraphernalia. Next year they're looking at penalty regime around possession. These are opportunities to engage where the, you know, where the government, you know, this is a government that, that, that's wanting the public to respond to those things. People should take that opportunity.